In our world, we always figure out things with logic. There is a cause and an effect. But there's always a reasonable explanation why things are happening. But have you ever been curious to very tiny objects? Do they behave the same way? Let's find out! In the quantum world, where the smallest particles like atoms and photons live, their strange behaviors will shatter our beliefs on how the universe works. One of the crazy phenomenon is called quantum entanglement. Imagine that these two coins are electrons. If I gave them a spin and stopped the first coin which resulted to be heads, there is somewhat an unexplained connection that will signal the second coin to become tails. Even if I spin them multiple times, the results are always opposite. Where did this magical connection come from? This bizarre connection occurs because they are entangled particles. It means that the particles and their properties are somehow connected. To clarify, this is spin. Spin is one of the fundamental properties of a particle. If we measure particles, spin is always either spin up or spin down. In entangled particles, if the measure of one particle is spin up, then its pair must be spin down. Not both spin up or down, but always opposite. Like earlier, if the first coin is heads, then the second coin must be tails. It may sound simple, but quantum entanglement is super weird. You see, before you get to the results, entangled particles pass to a certain state called superposition. Superposition is the ability to be in multiple places at the same time until it is measured or observed. To simplify, this is a spinning loop. The moment I spin it, it is both green and yellow at the same time, until I stop it. Same way applies to entangled particles. If the entangled particles are in superposition, both particles are in the state of being spin up or spin down. However, if you measure one particle, it mysteriously and instantly communicates with the other particle, telling which spin it has to be in. Even if the two particles are universe apart, it means that their communication is faster than light. That's why Einstein hated this idea, because according to his theory, nothing can beat the speed of light, not even information. So how does entangled particles communicate instantaneously if they are separated with vast distance? Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. Einstein said that the states of the particles are already fixed long before we observe them. Just like this pair of slippers, if I put them in two plastic bags and randomly sent a bag to a friend, if we receive the left slipper, then logically the right slipper is inside my box. No crazy communication and no spooky action. Quantum entanglement remained fuzzy since then. None of the Dumbo's equation was put to test by John Foster and approved by the team of Alan Aspect. The test results contradict what Einstein believes. Something strange was connecting the particles across space. Something we cannot explain until we use mathematics. It shows the existence of particle superposition. It reveals that entangled particles communicate miraculously despite being separated by an immeasurable distance. Maybe you'll say, I made the particles. Can I do that too? Well, in the quantum world, it is possible. But after all, we can never know where the future will take us next.